that bad shooting night still making the plays down the stretch? What about you? What makes you step up with those big teams? Um, teammates keep, keep telling me to shoot, coaches keep telling me to shoot. Um, they instill a lot of confidence in me, which makes me give a lot of confidence in myself. Um, really, that's all. Uh, work hard, you know. So when I miss one or miss 10, like I did the day after I missed, I was like one for 10. So, you know, you just keep shooting. Uh, eventually, one got to fall. So, yeah, that's really pretty much that. Did they give you the kind of game you expected them to give you? Oh, uh, definitely. Ole Miss is a really good team, really well coached. Uh, they play really hard. They got a, a guy that can go get 40. Uh, he played really well today. Uh, their whole team played really well. So, you know, that was a, a really good game for us. What did you say about you guys that you can gut out and play this even? Oh, that's really what I think really what the tournament is all about. Um, you, know, you want to be at your best when the tournament time comes, but uh, it's, it's, we, all, we hear all the stories about a bad shoot night in the, tur the tournament. You know, you lose a game. So uh, just knowing that we can still win games even when not shooting our defense, you know, uh, come through for us and travel, uh, that's really what it's all about. Does experience in these close games give you more confidence every time you have to uh, Absolutely. It uh, just shows how resilient and tough this team is. Uh, we don't got a lot of veterans, uh, but you know, when we're on the floor, we're always talking, uh, we're huddling, we're uh, doing free throws, things like that. So uh, just communicating on the floor is really big. Emmanuel, you've hit a lot of big free throws. Uh, what was it like to see Keon? He's not, he's he struggled from the line sometimes, but he stepped up and made those free throws. Uh, he might need that clutch get, uh, clutch name more than me. Uh, but nah, Keon's been great. When he before he went to the line, I just dapped him up, told him you got this. Uh, he, he went to the line, you know, he showed a lot of poise, you know, going to the line in that in that moment and, and making those free throws. What was it like for you to be up there at the line at the end with the game on the line? Uh, that's what it's all about. Uh, that's what you dream of as a kid, uh, making the shots, going to the line with the game on the line. Um, really, you know, the only thing that's going through my mind is, is what we're about to do on defense, uh, really. So I told the team, you know, in the, in the, free, in the huddle, you know, I'm, I'm going to put these down and we just get back on defense and let's get a stop and let's get out of here. Talk about the crowd out there. They were into it. It was yeah. packed out. Let's talk about playing the huddle, you know, Big Blue Nation. Uh, it was great. You know, uh, the crowd was really into it. Saturday game, we haven't had a, a home Saturday game in, in, in like a month. I haven't seen my mom in like a month, so we haven't had one of those games in a while. Uh, so it was good. You know, the crowd was great today. Uh, and hopefully we can keep that going throughout the season. Emmanuel Callaway says you are what your stats say you are. So what should we think of this team shooting at all? We have to get to this. Um, I mean, we're not robots or machines or nothing like that. Uh, but, you know, you, you hate to see the uh, shoot nights like this. But like you said, uh, to be able to get a win, even when you shoot two for 22 from like three or something like that, it's really big. So, you know, that, like I said, just uh, credit to this team resiliency and, and defense.